the Fierce is one of my favorite fragrances and this is one of the best colognes that I've smelled. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on a fragrance called Vicious by Central Obsessions. I think this is a one ounce and I've tried this for almost a week. I've tried this against Dewey's Vintage Fierce. I've tried this against the normal Fierce, things like that. I've also given this plenty and plenty and plenty of wearings. Most clones that smell like Fierce, they all kind of smell good and it's kind of hard to pick which one would be my favorites. So far my favorites has been Dewey's Vintage Fierce. That one has just absolutely blown me away with its its authenticity, how good it smells, and its insane longevity and projection. As soon as I sprayed this, this was my second favorite clone to Fierce right away. So far, it pretty much has stayed the same. That's pretty hard when you consider all the different copies of Fierce out there, but this one just really is a step above. In my opinion, what this smells like is the 2009-ish Fierce, maybe 2008 to 2010-ish Fierce. The first time that Fierce went to that wooden cap, in my opinion, when it did that, it was still very good this fragrance does smell a little bit different versus the vintage fierce but not really in a bad way i feel like this fragrance or the 2009 fierce had that same typical fierce dna it had some really good longevity and projection but it's got just a little something extra to it when i spray it against dua's vintage fierce dua's vintage fierce is a little bit more transparent it's a little bit more simple but not bad at all it's just more simple it's a little more transparent and it is stronger if i was going to pick one for the really really high heat i'd probably go with duas this one actually smells very very good in the high heat still but it has a little bit of that extra vibe to where if you go into a little bit of a cooler vibe it still smells really good and this probably smells a hair better than duas vintage fierce once it gets a little bit cooler but overall, this is kind of a more hot weather scent with just a tad bit of cool. And in my opinion, this is almost an exact copy of the 2009 Fierce down to the T. If you liked that Fierce 2008 to 2010, in my opinion, it was still very, very good. We didn't hit that 2011 reformulation, which was really, really harsh that took out a lot of the stuff, made it harder to create Fierce like it is now. In my opinion, this is fantastic. It smells like 2009 Vintage Fierce, which is freaking great. Let's get into the pros. The pros of this is that it is very, very high quality. Some of the other Fierces, they could smell a little bit more woodsy or they have less on the musk, less on the ISOE Super. This one just smells good. And even when I was stretching it, even when I was sweating with it, it still retained that Fierce DNA and I'll notice that some clones, when you really push them, when you sweat, you could kind of smell a little bit more of the differences. This one, no matter where I took it, it still retained that heavy, fierce smell, which I really, really like. And on some of the cheaper Central Obsessions, probably in his cheapest line, you could kind of smell a little bit of something different in there versus the original. When I smelled his Tuscan leather, or if I smell a few of its other ones, they would have just a little tint of something different. Not this one. This one is very, very high quality, very good. The way I would describe this projection is the same way I would describe the original 2009 fierce if you spray up probably about three times that's the max you're going to want to spray it before you get into a car and that's exactly what i remember with fierce it was really really strong and pungent if somebody were to spray up four or five times it would be just insane in the car and even if you spray this up three times you get in the car you're kind of probably going to be gassing people out but at the same time it doesn't last forever i get probably a good like eight hours on the skin. For this kind of fragrance, how fresh it is, it's actually very, very good. And I actually get probably a solid two hours longevity and projection. However, if you were to go hug somebody, you know, six, seven, eight hours, they probably will smell it and it will last longer on clothes, but I did test it on skin. I just wanted to put that out there. I tested this against 2016 Fierce Intense. And this lasted just about the same as 2016 Fierce Intense, if not just a hair more. So I really like that because Abercrombie created an intense, stronger version of Fierce, and this one lasts about as long. And this also smells much closer to the original Fierce, in my opinion. You smell the original Fierce. It has this really, really good vibe, but the Isoe Super kind of morphs. Sometimes you smell it and it smells like eh, and then sometimes you smell it and you're like, wow, that's like the best thing I've ever smelled. This has that vibe to it when you go to fierce intense it smells really really good it smells like fierce but when you compare it to this you do see the nuances of wow like that smells 100 percent like fierce but it's a totally different kind of dna and scent and what i do like about fierce intense the 2016 version was that it was very linear you know how i was saying that sometimes you could smell fierce and it smells a little eh 
It was kind of nice that you never get that vibe. It just smells good. It smells like fierce and it's great. However, I would prefer this one because this reminds me of the 2009 version. This reminds me of the versions that you cannot get anymore. So I really, really do appreciate that. This really smells the closest to what I remember of the classic fierces besides Dua's fierce. Dua's fierce, like I said, it's the same, but to me, they're a little bit different. I enjoy this because I get the 2009 vintage fierce. I love that kind of DNA, but then I also like having access to the old old fierce the classic the first bad boy i like both of them but to be honest it's really nice having this to mix up because to me it's a different kind of dna but it's still very fierce like i enjoy it a lot let's get into the cons of this fragrance uh, i have to look up the price we'll see how agreeable the price is the only other con i could possibly think of is that it does not last as long as do as vintage fierce in my opinion, they both smell good. I kind of like them. I like having both. I really do like having both because they're different styles of the same kind of scent. It's hard to explain, but I love it. However, I did try this against Dua's Vintage Fierce and I really wish I had tried this a second time because the Dua's Vintage Fierce lasted so long on my skin. It was unbelievable how long it lasted. It just smelled so good. Every time you smelled it, it would retain you know, 70, 80% of the smell and it would smell so good. What was weird about it was that I sprayed this on one hand, I sprayed Dua's Vintage Fierce on the other one, and this fragrance seemed like it was gone after like four or five hours. But I know that can't be true because I've tested it a bunch of times after that and it always lasts seven, eight hours. And I know that might scare some people, but I'm telling you, the projection of this is good. You're not gonna wanna spray this more than three times to get in the car, that's really good. I think people are gonna smell you six to nine feet away on the first initial sprays, 100%, maybe up to half an hour. This is a very, very, very good fragrance. Do is Vintage Fierce, I don't know what they're putting in that stuff, but so impressive, especially with the longevity and projection. That's kind of what puts it over the edge to, I would kind of maybe recommend Do is Vintage Fierce, but if you can't get a hold of it, I really, really like this stuff. And if you're somebody who bought Fierce 2008 to 2010-ish and you liked it back then, but you don't like it now, definitely check out Vicious by Central Obsessions. Really liking this stuff, guys. I'd give this a nine out of 10. Smells so, so good. Fierce is one of my favorite fragrances and this is one of the best clones that I've smelled. Nine out of 10. Likeability, I'm gonna have to give it an 8.5 to a nine. Fierce is one of those ones where most people are gonna like it. Some people are gonna absolutely love it. But then there's probably a few times where you spray up and you can be a little in your face. If somebody doesn't like cologne, this has a nice, strong smell. It will be in their face, but I do think Fierce is very likable and I think most people will like it. Longevity projection. Projection, I'd give this a 7.5 to an 8. It's really, really good. I love the projection right away. Even me, when I'm spraying up, I don't spray more than three, four times because I get that good initial cloud bubble. However, once you get later on, it definitely does dip out pretty quick. You know, if it gets to be six, seven, eight hours later. I don't know how much you're gonna smell it. I do think that it is strong enough that if you get some on your clothes, people will smell you and I do think you will get whiffs for a long time. So 7.5 to an eight. I mean, this is fierce, so you already know fierce. You kind of see what situations it's good for. I think it is absolutely great for the gym, especially if you just do one spray. A date, this is really good, not the best thing. It's very sexy, it's very high heat, kind of fun, but I don't know how flirty it is at the same time. It just comes across sexy so it's good. Everyday wear, I think this is good. I love Fierce. And work, I think this is okay. Fierce has always been kind of okay to work, but it is a little sexy. It isn't as reserved as some, maybe something you'd want for work or maybe a little something more a little something more robust and classic. And this is the second most recommended Fierce clone besides Dua's Vintage Fierce, which is so, so good. And it is always sold out. Based on the price, this might be the new go-to for people who can't get Dua's Fierce because I like Dua's Fierce, but I'm just not somebody who if I have like a window of a couple hours to buy it before it sells out, I'm just not into it. That's just me. Definitely check out this Vicious if you've owned the 2008 to 2010 Fierce and loved it. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you on the next video. Peace.